this game against Fulham comes with quite the twist in it. And for some West Ham fans, it's got us stuck between a bit of a rock and a hard place. On one hand, if we lose, it means that Moyes is most likely now going to be sacked. But if it means that we win, then we're going to look a bit more comfortable and we'll go on to 30 points. And we're facing a Fulham side that won't have Marco Silva on the touchline and won't have Alexander Mitrovic. Both are banned. And this Fulham side has lost its last three in a row. I have to say a few things about Fulham, though, in its defence. Pa Joel Paulinha is a fantastic midfielder. I think at one point this season, and actually, no, I'm certain at one point this season, he was leading the league in tattles. Excellent defensive midfielder, but they've also got other good players like William, Andreas Pereira. Uh, Mitrovic, obviously, is not going to be playing, but they also got uh, Carlos Vinicius, who is a reliable backup striker. Mano Solomon who I said West Ham probably should look at. Um, when the Russian invasion of Ukraine first hit, a lot of Shakhtar players were looking to move. I said, maybe we should look at signing Solomon. At first, he didn't really impress me at full, but now he's scoring long-range belters left, right and centre. He has a mandatory um, loan agreement in which he has to go back to Shakhtar at the end of the season and a few clubs are tracking him at this point from what I understand for West Ham again I'm going to say the same thing as I did the other week Suchek has to be dropped without fail without fail we cannot allow Suchek to play in this game he's a liability he can't tackle anymore he has no defensive work rate he has no energy he just gets his cardio session in and then sods off in the second half. Ideally, we need to put four hours of Lanzini in the middle there. Or have and have Paqueta next to him. Um what else we could do is to possibly have Maxwell Corne start in this. If you really want to be daring and try something or two up top. Go for something like Antonio Corne or Ings or Corne. I mean, Ings or Antonio ain't that great, but Corne up top, I think he can play as a striker. Corne's got the, the forward ability. He's got the direct runs. He, he's good in one-on-ones in front of goal. Corne should start in this game, in my opinion. We've got a lot of players who are needing a bit of confidence. Bowen's going to need a few goals in this and get on the score sheet. Um, we're going to need to get a good win out of this. When we played Fulham early in the season, we beat them 3-1. We did that because of our passing and our tempo. If we can key that up against this Fulham side, we'll be okay. But they'll be a tough team to beat. Usually, we're having conversations that Fulham are going to go down. This season, they made sure it's not happened because they spent the money. They've come back up from the championship and built on what they've had to make it better. And I think they're in a good position right now. It's going to be tight tomorrow in this game because Leicester faces Bournemouth. And Leeds faces Crystal Palace. So we've got two teams around us playing each other. And we don't really want results out of that. So the onus is now on us to get the result. That's all I can really say. Thank you very much for watching this quick preview. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to sub for more content. Take care, everyone. And I'll see you all soon.